Hello my friends! Today I'll show you how to paint Lady M from MMM's Candy. So, let's begin. Right now I'm using a uh, brush and acrylic paint. Of course, with the black I'm going to start contouring the eyes and the brows. I'm going to pay attention here at the contour. As you can see, I already have the contour done before I started the video. With um, the pencil, I'm going to contour the mouth and the rest of the painting. Maybe you're wondering why I'm going back and forth in between brush and the pencil. The reason is that only the eyes and few little accents will be done with acrylic paint. The rest of the painting will be will be in uh, pencils. So maybe I should not call it pencil. I should oh, sorry, painting. I should call it a drawing. So with the uh, pencil I'm going to finish the rest of the contour after I'm done with the, um, with the eyes um, and I will begin with my accent area and with my shadows. With a very light pressure I'm going to enhance the shadow that is around the edges there I'm applying black and I'm not putting a lot of pressure because this is not going to be the final layer. I'm applying the shadow on the other side a little bit underneath the eye to enhance the, um, the look and with gray I'm going to go around and mix everything with white. Like this, the eye will have a natural color. Now I'm applying a little shadow on the mouth and around the eyes, around the eyelids, just a little bit on the right side. For the um, MMM, uh, I'm going to use three shades of green, the darkest, the medium and the lightest green. Right now I'm using the medium shade of green. In the um, description bar I'm going to list each uh, pencil that I'm using. Now I'm using the lightest color to put the highlights and I'm going to blend everywhere to make a soft transition from shadow to light. Um, now uh, these uh, colors that I'm using are Prismacolor, are, uh, the shade, they're made of wax. So they're gonna drop a little, um, a little flakes. So from time to time I have to remove those flakes. I'm doing the same thing uh, on the mouth that I did on the eyes. I uh, blend the light and the darkest shadow. And uh, the last layer is with my brightest green. Now I'm starting on the rest of the circle with uh, my darkest green where I put before the black. Now it's the darkest green. I'm not applying lots of pressure at this stage because I want to apply more pressure when I'm going to put the medium green. I'm going to put a little accent around the M, the letter M. And now I'm using my medium green. I'm going to start from the top down. I'm going to work afterwards the left and then the right side. Here I'm going to pay a little attention on the eye contour and I'm going to go around it. But even if I'm going to go over the black contour that of the eye, I'm going to redo it later on. So I'm going to pay attention, but if I'm going to go over it, then it's not a, um, a very big thing. So with the medium green, I'm going all around, but the area in the middle, I'm going to save for the lightest green. This is a bright yellow green. 
with white I'm contouring the mouth a little bit and now it's the blending time here I'm going to apply lots of pressure and um, this is the beauty of the color pencil they're very easy to blend and to mix the color to create the soft transition from the brightest green to the darkest one now I'm finishing up the middle part of the face with my green and of course I will remove the flakes and um, I'm putting a little bit of accents where I think they need to be applied such as underneath the, um, the mouth it's a little darkest area and then I will finish it up with a white pencil um, now I, um, I wanted to clear up all those flakes that are around the face and I left a green mark around the edge that will be removed at the end I'm going to apply a coat of white and uh, the background will be white with my um, medium green I am blending all the edge and now I am moving over with my brightest green and I finish up all the area that is white I am applying as I said before pressure but I'm also going on the area that I draw before the reason why I am doing this is to blend the colors and to create a smooth gradient afterwards I'm going to apply two more layers one will be with the medium green and then the final layer will be with the brightest green in order to make sure that everything is nice blended um, here with uh, with a pencil and I believe with every drawing the key is the pressure and as you know as we put more pressure then we deposit more color and we will have more saturation on our paper if we apply soft pressure then we will have a light almost transparent color in this um, in this part I'm using a lots lots of pressure now I am removing with a tissue I am removing all the flakes around of course I'm going to have that green shadow that will be removed later on as you noticed there are some green residues on the eyes on the hands on the arms and on the M now in a moment I'm going to clean that part up so I'm using the white acrylic paint and I am going all over those areas once more make it stand up make it a bright clean white I'm also paying attention to contour this time not to go over what I painted before um, the reason why I'm doing this uh, is because afterwards I will apply the proper color for the hands and I want it to be a pure color because if I would apply without cleaning the area then the color underneath will blend with the top layers so that's why I want to start with the fresh white background now I'm applying a few highlights on the lips and a few accents on the corners of the lips I want to um, do this because this, um, this gives volume to the lips and it enhances the gesture that she's doing for the skin color I'm going to use two tones I'm going to use the darkest and the lightest color I'm going to apply the darkest color on the edges and then I'm going to fill the inside with the lightest tone 
and of course I'm going to blend everything to create a smooth transition. On the um, arm that is on the right side, I had some issues because I applied first the painting. The color pencil was not going very smooth. So I had to do the second arm entirely with painting. For the hand, I'm going to use gray, white and black. I'm going to use white to blend the gray that I applied before and with uh, black I'm going to put only few accents. That will help me because it's a white standing against a white background. So I believe it's necessary to put a little accents to suggest that there is the hand. With white I am doing a few highlights and I'm using again my brush and the acrylic painting. I'm doing um, more cleaning and I'm applying a, another layer of black on the eyes to remove all the flakes and to make the black more sharp and to stand up more. So over the contour and over the uh, painting that I did before. I just go with one more layer a little bit underneath the eye and now I will blend because um, it will make it it will be too sharp if I don't blend it and then I will do the inside part of the mouth and a little bit on the corners. And now as I said before I'm going to clean the background with white paint. there you have it my lady M please give this video a thumb up and let me know in the comments what is your favorite MMM's color and don't forget to visit my website at mgartgallery.co